Saul Delmore Philbin Bowman, also known as Drinksman. Saul Delmore Philbin Bowman, dear Drinksman. It's a rapscallion soda, rhubarb, here on Dear Drinksman. Gonna literally get to the bottom of this. See what I did there? There's a kind of a um, rhubarb colour label. It says made in Scotland here on the back. Uh, there's a lot of copy, which I really like in a soft drink. There's a batch number, which I don't believe we've ever had on this show before. Any drink with a batch number. And this, I'm glad to say, is from batch number one. It's also vegan friendly. The ingredients are carbonated water infused with Scottish rhubarb, pink grapefruit zest, Sichuan pepper, raw organic cane sugar, and vitamin C. It's next level graphic design, I'd say. It's really fucking eye-catching. I saw it there in the window of the cafe. There was all the cans lined up. I was like, I have to have it. It's like a drink out of Half-Life or something. Ah, it's good to see you. Real kind of, it's real kind of Scottish send name, isn't it? Gordon Freeman. There's a way, there's way more graphic design here. Look at this fucking shit. You can peel it off, and there's a rhubarb -y thing on it. There's a picture of some rhubarb. We have never had that before. Anyway, yeah, sorry, I got, I got, got excited there by the interactivity. Listen to that. That is like the sound of Gabriel's trumpet. Wow. It's like you've spotted on the horizon just a gorgeous, gorgeous sunset. Scroll to the camera app and you've pointed your phone at the sunset and you've like clicked the shutter for want of a better word and you put it up on instagram and you've put you put the caption hashtag shutter island was robbed and you're like this is delicious the likes are coming in and you're just you're sitting there and you're just like at like after like after like after like after like and you're just getting this dopamine rush unlike anything you've ever felt and then all of a sudden martin scorsese's official instagram run by his social media team, likes your photo, and then you just lie down on the beach and just, you're so happy. You've never been happier. And that's a feeling somewhat comparable to the intense quench of this drink. Please God, oh, no! You can really tell that it's natural spring water and not some sort of you know uh water that's been carbonated by machine it really feels like that water was hand carbonated you know it really feels like it was probably pro properly small batch car carbonated by hand unlike some drinks where they're using a large carbonation machine this however is patently rhubarb -y. And that's like a great thing about it. It's got the Sichuan pepper, which is cool. Cause you got like a little, yeah, you do get a little, um, a little like, you get the rhubarb hit and then you get like this little kind of post, uh, post rhubarb sort of, um, little bit of a kick there. A little bit of a, um, little bit of a kind of a, uh, what's like the equivalent of the intensity of a bee sting, but like not negative. What I'm trying to say is I am enjoying this little kind of, this little soup song of Sichuan pepper, big into that pepper, you kick. The first ingredient in a list of ingredients is the most plentiful ingredient. So it's interesting that instead of putting artificial sugar in here, like aspartame, etc., they just had raw organic cane sugar further down the list. More drinks should have real sugar in them and just put a bit less in. Take a lesson from, oh wait, I got a fucking bollocks, it was gonna be so good. Uh, what I'm trying to say here is that like, this is a cool idea and it's maybe kind of obvious, but I think I'm impressed by that, that I think 
you, I would enjoy some drinks a lot more if they had t adopted a similar approach, if they took, if they learned a lesson and put less in. This drink is getting an official Derek Smith teeth grinding score of four cans out of five. I feel like, uh, no, I feel like I've already said what I, what I wanted to say. I'm allowed, uh, I contain multitudes. It's important to me that there is options out there for people who don't drink alcohol. And, and it shouldn't just be always down to, oh, he doesn't drink alcohol, let's get him uh, a seven up. You know what I mean? There should be way more uh, drinks like this drink and like this company. It's delicious. Well done, Rapscallion Soda. Thank you.